Hey guys, how's it going? Nazar here of Nostalgic. Whoop, 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 whoop. How's it going? Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a short review of the NECA Back to the Future 118 scale Back to the Future DeLorean. This is the one from part one. See how it's all painted weird and it's not stainless uh, steel? Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's get it open first. All right, there we go, guys. Let me have a seat right next to the camera so we can take a look at this thing. Um, okay, so as you can see, it is NECA. It is a Time Machine 116 scale. I'm sorry, I apologize. Not 118 scale, it's a little bit bigger, but uh, I do have some 118 scale DeLoreans, so we will compare in the end, so stick around for that. I actually have a ton, so uh, we'll have a full table of DeLoreans. <laughs> so anyway, let's take a look. This is the top. Uh, these go for like 60 bucks at Target. Um, I believe the only reason they're this expensive is because they have a license to put the DMC logo on the front there. That's it. Otherwise, this would have been like a $30 thing so yeah it says here 116 scale doors open and close high detail no electronics no lights no nothing uh marking whatever a little thing there this is the other side and there's your thing if you want to look this up put your phone scanner to that and figure it out uh there you go but yeah all the licensing universal you have the lucas whatever film um all rights reserved 2020 the worst year ever well we don't know that 2021 came off to a weird start all right let me uh cut this thing open so yeah i'm gonna try not to waste too much time this box will be thrown out because it's not in good shape anyway i don't know what they do with these in the stores i feel like they just toss them around and don't give two poops about it uh, there we go there's your view in the box you know, I really wasn't going to get it, but there was a fairly decent huh? deal on them. So, oh, interesting. You know how usually when you buy a 118 scale or whatever, it's like screwed to the bottom? This thing was just held down by these two things. That saves me a lot of time and uh, not wanting to curse. <laughs> so yeah, um, definitely uh, garbaging this box out. There you go, there's your box, it's out of the box. No stand, no screws. One positive thing about it so far. But uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to be a jerk about it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Okay, so, 60 bucks, man. Uh, okay, so this is the bottom. It's a plastic, hollow plastic sound. Um, no detail at all. Uh, it sounds cheap. Oh, man, I'm kind of disappointed. I almost got happy. Okay, so there's some tape holding down the doors, which is good. My thumbnails are very... Oh, there's a bunch of thumbnails and something smudged here. I guess from the factory. From whoever was packing this. Had greasy fingers from eating a cheesesteak, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's do this. So here's the back. Okay, look, it doesn't look that bad. Um, they kind of have weird gray overspray in here. What do you guys think? Does that look enticing to you? Um, I'm not sure what they're going for with that weird, like, you know, dirty spray nozzle look. I don't know. It's like a little bit of chip over there. Um, something here. Some kind of schmutz. There's a fairly shitty scratch right here on the hood. $60, NECA. <sighs> okay, they painted the headlights. Yay. And uh, they made you pay for that DMC there. I guess to some people that DMC is most important. To me, the most important thing is that this is a time machine. Uh, if I wanted a DMC model, I would buy a DMC model without this conversion. So, okay, um, 
let's see how difficult is it to get this off you know what i'm not gonna get the tape off uh on camera because that's gonna take forever give me one second <laughs> okay so i left one here for you okay so here's all the tape um here if you're a nail biter look at this you really have to get in there so if you're a nail biter you are not getting this off so there you go got the tape off cool <sighs> i don't know guys you know, this is the thing though, if this was 20 bucks, I would have zero complaints. But like, as I'm like holding this and the cheapness of the plastic sound and I don't know, let's open this up. Okay, well, at least the door is nice and tight, stays open. What is happening here? What is that? What the? There's like white crap all over the seats. Look at this. See that? What is this, NECA? Alright, the driver's side at least looks okay. Uh, wow. And it's gray. <laughs> what is, what the, what is this? It doesn't come off. It's straight up white paint. And it's all over the seat, like... What is happening, man? It's on the floor too, right there? Is that like your way of like giving it a look of being used? Because the rest of the car is clean. Uh, what? Okay, anyway. So, I mean, you know, overall it's, it's looking good. Let me take this off the tripod and give you a bit of a flyby. Okay. Okay, so it's not ugly. It's nice. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm keeping this in my collection regardless. You know, what are you going to do? But, you know, as a manufacturer, I wouldn't want to hear that. It's kind of like, well, it's not good, but I collect this, so I might as well keep it. You know, like... <sighs> the paint's, you know, paint's okay on the thing here. Let me just keep reminding you, $60. 60 More than half of a hundred bucks. From what I've seen on reviews, the sticker on the back, almost on everyone's, was crooked. Mine's perfect. So, winning, I guess? I don't know what's happening here. Let me show you more of that close up. What is that? What's happening? That is some crazy big gaps. Look at that. Focus, please. Thank you. Wow. Looking good through the windshield, of course. Not that much detail. Uh, weird smears and smudges on the windshield. All right. Uh, let's open both sides. So there you go. There's your interior. There's your flux capacitor, I guess. Uh, I think so. Yeah, that's, you know, whatever. That's not bad. I'm not complaining about that part. Time circuits. Let's take a look at those. There's your time circuits. I mean, not necessarily that detailed, but you know what? They're there. It's not awful in there. That's the least of my issues. <sighs> yeah. My main issue is why is this painted gray? That's number one issue. I don't get it. Why is this colored? after the tunes let me show you. okay there so you guys see the tuned uh these are the you know tune uh back to the future cartoon um models that NECA made as well these are amazing i love them zero complaints love these <sighs> but they were supposed to release a tuned back uh, delorean 
for them and it was gonna be this gray and as you can see the colors look great with this car they they look amazing with this car but <laughs> this isn't a toon cartoon car <sighs> sorry guys I'm just like disappointed because like $60 you know it all looks great but first of all they're not to scale with this car so even if I wanted to like it, it doesn't really match uh, the colors match the colors look great with these figures they're freaking amazing but you know sorry my I have a fluffy bottom here yeah they definitely look great with it but no thanks so yeah, the, the car is going to be displayed with my other DeLoreans, so uh, I'm not worried much. I think it's great that, um, I mean, well, what the, f anyway, I think it's great that it's a different DeLorean. It's, it's a DeLorean that's not, that is actually painted, that's not, you know, metal the way it needs to be or supposed to be. Um, the color is great with the tuned figures, but it's not a tuned car. NECA, are you making the tuned car? Because I want to give you $60 for that. I, I'll i exchange this for the other one, like, straight up, please. I'll even add $10 on top of it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, overall, I love this. Not for $60. For $20, $30, bucks, perfect. $60, bucks, no. But, uh, you know, like I said, I had some coupons. I had some donations that people gave me. So I got this for not $60. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's compare this to my 118 scales and my other DeLoreans, see how they stack up next to each other. I'm going to get rid of the action figures. Okay guys, so here you go. Um, we have our Back to the Future 3. Beautiful model. No, I did not dust them, I'm sorry. But uh, you can see this also has DMC. Even this wasn't $60 when I bought it. This is from Sunstar, 118 scale. Also licensed, you know, you got your railroad conversion kit, you have your whatever, you know, all the western stuff. There you go. I mean, you even have plastic headlights in there. This is, all these pieces on it are separate. This is all one mold. It's one mold. Uh, okay, so here's the second Back to the Future 2. I know this one's been through heck. I got this at a flea market for... $8, I think, because these were broken and Mr. Fusion's broken off. You know, that bit. So, but this one converts. There's, there's a, as you can see, those babies go down. So it hovers now. It's a flying one. So, again, different, you know, it, it's all, let's put it this way. This one obviously is 1 16th. Remember, it's a little bit bigger than these 118 scale ones. The smaller the number, the bigger the size. Like 164 scale is Hot Wheels size. So there you go. So here's your comparison off the top. It's not a bad looking car from NECA, but why did you have to paint it, man? It's not a tune car. I'm gonna stop repeating myself, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, these are my 118 scales. Um, I have a ton of ton of DeLoreans from from like micro machine size to like a giant autograph by Christopher Lloyd size one. Let me show it to you. Uh, this one. <laughs> this one's a little bigger. This one's autographed by Christopher Lloyd. I got to meet the man. So yeah, this is a. Uh, forget what size this is. I forget. Probably one. So 118, 116, so this is probably like, I don't know, who cares? But see, this one doesn't have the DMC. So I literally bought this one and it has, I took the batteries out for, uh, you know, so they don't bleed in there because Christopher Lloyd's autograph is right there. But, uh, oh, sorry guys, bear with me. There's your smaller to bigger comparison. So, um. Yeah, I think I paid like $30, $40 for this big boy, and it lights up, it has like sounds and stuff, the flux capacitor lights up in there. <sighs> so yeah, um, I don't know what's up with NECA, $60. <laughs>
<laughs> Word of the day, $60. But yeah, well, there you go. There's your comparison to all these. Um, yeah, that's it. One day I will do uh, like a comprehensive review of all of my DeLorean's collection, and I'll bring out all of them. This table will be filled with them. Like, I literally have at least 50 DeLoreans. So uh, we'll talk about that another day. But for now, this was our uh, car in question. There we go. So, uh, yeah, final thought. Um, it looks great this way, just sitting there. I just don't understand what's going on with all of the decisions that they made. Um, I just don't get it. I don't understand the gray. I don't understand all the weird color over sprays. I don't understand the weird uh, hazy spray there, the smudges on, on the seats, um, the weird smeeds and schmutzes on the windshield here. It looks like it's scratched up and they wiped it down with WD-40 to kind of make it look like it's not scratched up. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't appreciate that. Um, oh yeah, here. I mean, look at this bottom and let's look at this bottom. Is it hard to just mold a bunch of stupid crap like that? Is it really that bad? Hard to make this mold compared to nothing? Like, this isn't a McLaren, <laughs> you know? Um, what, what happened here? I'm just saying, like, and then, like, this weirdness, the plasticky stuff, it's hollow on the inside completely. Um, yeah, $60. All right, so, yeah, final thought. Um, great, great toy, great car, great unique uh, gray color. I actually like it. I just don't understand it. Um, I like it, not for $60. Those are my views. Uh, all right, guys. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this Back to the Future review of the NECA freaking uh, DeLorean 116 scale. My name's Naz. You're watching Nostalgic. I just did a little review of that and uh, just wanted to share my thoughts because it was really baffling me and uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't get it, man. <sighs> so, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.